in the backstage scenes of Peter, Paul, and Mary concerts, when we have an opportunity to share music or moments with friends, depending upon what town we're in or what city we're in, usually it's a two-way street. You know, I'll, particularly with Kevin, you know, when I, when I saw him, I'd say, "Way, well, hey, I got something, I got something new I want to play for you. And then I'd play him some jazz piece, and he'd say, oh, hey, I got something I want to play for you. And then he'd play me some piece of his. And uh, the last uh, two or three pieces that Kevin's been playing are part of this new project. And I said, hey, uh, is there any chance you need a vocal or another guitar player? And he said, are you kidding? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, you know, I don't know if I can afford you. I said, are you kidding? I said, I'll swap you straight out. I'll, I'll play on your record. You play on mine. Kevin and I started an email relationship, uh, you know, where we'd send lyrics or ideas or chats or talk about the group or, you know, when we, were, when we might see each other or visit. And, uh, and he sent me a lyric to this song called Inside Job. And I was so struck by it because he's talking about, you know, the cosmos. But that phrase inside job is like, you know, somebody's on the know here, but it ain't me. <laughs> and that's what I meant about that quirky kind of capacity, that, uh, that skewed perspective on the world, because I, I share that with Kevin. I really, I resonated so much with it, and the, and the music for it was really cool. It was an opportunity for me to play in a style that I don't ordinarily play, kind of snaky, that kind of boodla do de do gong ba you know, I'm a latent rock and roller, so. Actually, I like where Kevin has taken the dulcimer. Um, I've heard dulcimer played by, uh, played in a straight folk style prior to Kevin and by other people. And, you know, it's a very plaintive, beautiful instrument. Uh, it will bring a tear to your eye just in terms of its authenticity. Well, Kevin has that capacity, certainly, to play in the traditional mode, but then he'll reach for, you know, somewhere over the rainbow or the theme from Aida or, you know, Mission Impossible. I mean, nothing. He's not daunted by any musical format. I think it's terrific, you know? I mean, have you ever fandangoed to a dulcimer? In the day and age that we live, where artwork is all around us, just like music usually is all around us, between, you know, department stores and music and the radio playing all the time and the 87 zillion different channels that you've got to choose from. So graphic arts now is all around us. Magazines, advertisements, billboards, wall colorings. And sitting on top of this is a colorful representation that Kevin has seems to have control over that I'm just in awe of. There's, there's an element of whimsy and comedy at the same time a, a more profound question being asked about the relationship one to another. Uh, he combines a lot of media. Um, you know, there's basically it's oil painting is mostly what I've seen of his, but there are like drawings with little captions on top and the drawings are very character they're character driven you know it's a shopkeeper it's a keyboard player it's a guy attending a bar mitzvah it's a rabbi it's a little girl skipping in the street it's you know I mean these are real characters and yet they're in relatively abstract form they're not clearly delineated features, but you absolutely know these people. And then the little balloons above speak about their cultural heritage. And then you relate the cultural heritages of all of these people one to another. And it's an exciting piece of art, you know, because you're experiencing it not only visually, but mentally as well.